as we've continued to build Echo, we just continue to realize that tagging and being able to fully understand your conversation is just so important. An interesting thing has happened, though. <laughs> we, we've made tags where each user can just kind of create a tag. And in the process of doing that, we now have hundreds of thousands of tags, so many tags. So it was neat in a way because we were able to just let each user kind of create whatever they wanted to. And it kind of became a glorified notes system. But today, we're introducing an entirely new tagging system, one where you as a ministry control exactly what those tags are so that you can run the reporting you want in your ministry to be able to see what your conversations are about. This is a totally new way of doing this. And before I show you, let me just break down a couple of key concepts. We have this idea of a root word, and then we have an idea of synonyms or maybe uh, more nuanced descriptions or possibly alternative words uh, that could be used to describe. So if you have a root word like depression, you may have other synonyms like sad or lonely, and these would show up as underneath the word depression. So we have this concept of kind of this like top level word, which we're calling a root word. And then we have this concept of a synonym or, or some sort of nuanced description that maybe gives additional insight. So maybe a root word would be something like um, addiction. And then a, a synonym or a, a sub word uh, would be something like drugs or alcohol, right? And so what's cool about this is if you choose one of those sub words, one of those synonyms or you know whatever we want to describe that as, then uh, it's categorized underneath that top level word. So if we use the addiction example, then uh, if we had classified uh, alcohol and drugs as two of the addi addiction types, and we'd had a variety of conversations, we would be able to see that detail of each of those uh, different um, uh, things, but it would also roll that up into the centralized view of just the tag addiction. So this gives you a lot of ability now to have uh, comprehension around what are these top level words that we're really tracking. If you think of it from a pie chart, how many, how big is the slice of the pie of the conversations we're having around a particular topic? Now, this is also really cool because each root word can map to a corresponding other language root word that's, you know, the translation of that word. So if you have um, the word addiction and I don't know, is that addiction in Spanish? I'm not sure, but whatever the Spanish word equivalent is for that inside of Echo, you can map those together. So as you have users that are using Echo in other languages other than English, they're going to be able to tag the conversation in their language, but your reporting, if you're an English uh, person, you can run the report and see everything just in English. Or simultaneously, if you are in another language, you can run the report in that language, and if you have English users, in my example, you would be able to see what their conversations were about. So this is super powerful because now we're giving the ability for each language to be able to have uh, the ability to tag in their language. And inside admin, you can map both the root words and the sub words, uh, the synonyms. You can map those together. Uh, this makes reporting just super awesome. So let me show you what this looks like inside of Echo. So here I have just kind of a fake conversation going on. Let me go ahead and close the conversation here and uh, bring up our uh, uh, disposition area. Now, this, if you've already been a user of Echo, you're going to notice looks extremely similar. Uh, however, once I click on that, maybe if I start typing something like depression, you can see that um, it's going to bring up that root word there. But then you're also going to see, in this case, for this ministry's list of words, you'll see other kind of subwords that have gone under uh, uh, depression, right? So maybe sadness is what we want to hit. Well, we could do that, and it's going to be underneath that depression category. Or maybe the same with addiction, uh, I could go in and have that 
um, that root word addiction, or I could maybe indicate what type of addiction it is. And these parentheses help us see this is the root word that's contained inside this. And so I can just go in and choose that root word and I'll be good to go. Okay, so that's, that's what this looks like inside of the tagging system. The other thing we can do is we can hit this plus sign and this will give you the master list. Now this uh, is this ministry's list. Your ministry may have more or less than this, but this is the list of root words that they have. And then from here, uh, I could just go in and just uh, click, you know, different different words or, or phrases uh, in here. And so I could just go in and, and do those top level words uh, as well. So it, we've got a little bit of everything inside of here, right? And so, uh, so I can do that as well and add those to the list. And then of course, once I'm finished, I can just simply um, you know, choose an outcome of the conversation and then I can put any notes that I need to about the conversation and then save it. So how do we do this? Well, inside of Echo, now in the admin area, if I go over here and go into admin, you go to settings, and then inside of settings, you'll see there's two new areas that maybe you haven't seen before uh, that are part of this rollout. One is languages, and this is where you're going to now set up as your ministry, which languages you use, and you'll add those languages in. So um, we have over 84 languages that we currently support. Feel free to choose any from that list. And so as you bring in whatever those different uh, languages are, maybe we'll add in, um, I'm uh, sure, <laughs> whatever, right? Just any of these, other, we'll add German. So now we have English and German added into our language uh, uh, of the system. And this is something the tagging system is going to use to better tell it which um, languages to use. Once we're here, you'll see there's a new tags area under settings. And right now there's nothing in this. So let me just add a new root word. And you'll see because I've added German, I have the English and uh, DE, the German description there. So uh, depression, and um, for now, I'm not sure what the German word is for depression, but I would type that in there. But for this demo, I'm just going to type it in in English. And then you'll see inside that, I can add a synonym. So again, here, I'm just gonna put sad. Um, I could go in here and add lonely. And I have this ability to kind of build out these different synonyms. And if I just hit enter, um, um, alone, uh, I can just you know type those in and just add those rel relatively quickly. We also have the ability to import a list, so if you've worked on a spreadsheet of this, you can give it to us and we'll import it for you as well. Once you've done that, your list will look something like this, but with lots of root words and lots of synonyms inside that. And again, by doing it this way, only the user can only choose uh, anything from the list that you've created. So you wanna make sure and take the time to really have a comprehensive list. Once you've made that whole list, let's maybe just add another root word. Uh, I think we said addictions, so we could do that as an example. Uh, then I could add that in as well. And so you could just go in and add these. Once you've done this and you feel like this is where you want it to be, you'll then press this migrate button. This is a one-time migration. You can't go back to the old way. And this is the future. So this is where we're going with everything. And so um, we want you to migrate over to this as soon as possible. But this is the way you're going to end up setting this up. And, and the end result of that, you know, if we go over uh, into uh, Need Hymns Tenant here, and if we go into Admin, and we look at their uh, list of tags um, that they have, just as an example here. You can see, just to kind of see a fully populated list, uh, this, this is what this is going to look like as those root set of tags that they've got inside here. And then 
what we can do inside that is um, we can just click on one of those and expand uh, different types of information about that, different uh, subwords that they have. You could also just hit expand all and then just kind of see all the different words and phrases. And, and Needham's expressed that they're um, very willing to share their list if you want to use that as a framework for you to begin inputting your own list of words and phrases. And then lastly, there's some reporting. We have some new things that we're doing on that, and so that reporting's coming soon. We'll introduce that in a subsequent video here in the next few days. But I wanted to get this out to you so that you could start thinking through what you want your tags to be, those root words and those synonyms. This is going to totally transform your ability to run reporting and see what are our conversations about, not just what are the outcomes of the conversation, but what are the conversations about. We're super excited to release this tagging release, and I think it's going to, um, it, it's probably going to be one of the biggest changes that you can do from a reporting and an understanding of all the conversations you're having uh, that we've released in a long time. So definitely check out the new tagging system. And uh, as always, we're available to you. We want to help you uh, think through this migration uh, to the new tagging system. Let us know what we can do to assist you to make the tagging what you need it to be for your types of conversations so that you can get the kind of comprehension and understanding like you've never had before of what you're doing in your ministry. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for all your ideas and suggestions. It's what's making Echo the awesome tool that it is today. Day. And if you're not an Echo customer yet and you've been on the fence and you're watching some of these videos, we would love to talk to you. Uh, just go to echoglobal.org, reach out to us, and uh, we would love to hear more about your ministry and get you set up with uh, Echo. There's never been a better time than today. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.